tell me why that's not a legit take. I think she just doesn't want to admit she's wrong. She's like, yes. she's stubborn like that. Gaslight her, Swiss. You're a good son. <laughs> well, you know what? Let's see if uh, John can bring out the sun here against this uh, king oh, of all evil. No! Oh my god, yes! no! Clip him, John! Welcome to Grand Finals, Dumpling King. Now get out. Nah, Dumpling King did that to me earlier today, so it's nice to see him get repaid. Good gracious. John Numbers, you know. <laughs> is, is John Numbers just Dumpling King's Dumpling King? Uh, oh, he might be. The Gyo's the Lord. Oh, oh. oh, I thought he was like going for something no, there. No, not Hold when on. you're down a whole stock. Maybe to like even up stocks, but not to trade a stock like that. But don't get it twisted. Ganon might be the villain of uh, of the Link of the Zelda games, but man, is he the hero of this story? Come on, disappeared to China for two weeks on vacation, but comes back and makes Grand Finals at Zeno for the first time. I don't know. I think he was in training. Yeah, up in like the mountains. Yeah, for real. Probably had a stop to Xi'an. Had to go to Shanghai and then stopping in Beijing for some nice pecking duck. Yeah. That was like the ultimate test. If you can cook duck, you can cook John Numbers. That's right. Uh oh. Soccer ball just sitting there. Hit me. Hit me. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. Every smash attack coming out. Don't get three stock dumpling king. I don't feel like Final Destination was really the right choice, at least to open this up with. I agree, but we saw him win at Final Destination last time. I don't get the stage choice from Dumpling King. I'm going to ask him to explain later. I think just because there aren't a lot of places oh my God. where John no! can... No! That was a three stock. No! It's okay. It's all right. It's just the first set. Look, you shook off the grand final ner grand finals nerves, Dumbling King. Everyone gets one. All right, now lock in. Lock in. Everybody lend him your strength. All right? Everybody, arms up, baby. A good trick. <laughs> Good gracious. It was incredible. Oh my gosh. I can't watch these highlights back. Get them off my screen, Devin. That's right. Eventually, someone has to watch him. It better be us. All right. It looks like we're sticking with the Ganondorf. You know, Dumpling King at times has gone Bowser. You yeah. know, in matchups that he doesn't enjoy or when he's feeling like Ganondorf doesn't have what it takes. But... Whenever he does against a top player, he always regrets it, and he always thinks he should have stayed Ganon. So this is the point where, make it or break it, Dumpling King's got to show us what the King of Evil is all about. I get it, though. I get it. Stay... Oh! I get it, yes! too! Yes! Yes! Big F smash from Dumpling King, finding the stock so early against John. He said, oh, you want to you wanna do that, game one? All right, well, now you can take it, game two. Good gracious. It looks like John is uh, no, returning stop. the favor. Knock that off. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright. Dumpling recovering King. High, recovering low. Good, yeah. He, th he uh. threw us off. John was certainly thrown off as well. Good B wow. reverse on the up B to find John, who's now in a pretty deep disadvantage. Ooh, <laughs> soccer ball coming in like a bullet. Good gracious. Okay, no double jump. Doesn't need it. Nice air dodge through all of that pressure, going just deep enough to find the recovery. That's what he does. He recovers. Right, dump it. That was scary. Yeah, John was trying to actually read like a, a Roland, but this is not a normal player. This is Dumpling King. No. Oh, soccer ball. He has to burn the air dodge. He's definitely cooked. Oh, he jumps over. Oh, not try to get that not down enough. air. I like the idea. It's so tough because once you burn. Oh, that might be it. No. No. Once you burn that air dodge, dodging the soccer ball, you're cooked. Because John's just coming off stage with a forward air. He could go as deep as he'd like because he's John Numbers. And you're dead. I know. Rolls to the left. Uh oh. This could be dead? No way. No, no. John stringing something together, though. Dumpling King is able to get back to stage. Oh, oh my gosh. He's trying to cook there. I think John was just kind of waiting for the sound cue for that up special. Yeah. Didn't quite get it. Dumpling King opting to play safe and ledge okay. trap. It pays off big time, but not enough to kill. I can't believe that ate the sun. Yeah. Ganon's feet, something different. <laughs> feet? That's a boot. <laughs> For real. Ooh, this coming. man is not Akuma, but he hits like Akuma. Are you serious? Coming down to the down B and John just jumps right into it. Take me away. But uh oh, this might be it. No. no. John can't find the ledge trap. Oh, goes for the read on the get up attack. Couldn't find it. 
Running up and shielding, not the move right now. Misses the dash attack. John King jumping away. John trying to push this advantage and find the kill, but he just can't seem to find it. Dumbling King at 151. This is where John is forcing Dumbling King to approach first. Oh, oh my, my god. Yep. Good job by Dumpling King. John even staggered his header on the soccer ball. Dumpling King seeing right through it. Dumpling King just wants one thing and it's disgusting. Yeah. John like mixing it up around this soccer ball like he's Ronaldo right now. It finds the down air. We're looking at an even game here. If John wins, he gets a grand finals reset. John barely had a scratch on him. Yeah. And if and if Dumpling King wins, well, then we're going to game three. I am, would love a game oh, three. Oh, shield but break. What's John... the punish? What's the punish? Oh, up smash. No, come what? on, do some fancy zero to death. Oh uh, my god. He went for it. Why not? Just get an up smash. Get all that juicy damage. For what is this 31%? I want to see 80. No, no. I want to see him take him zero to death like he's bayoneted in Smash 4. <laughs> uh oh. Dumpling King trying to pay, play patient and ledge trap instead of edge guard, but John Numbers doing his signature reverse Yay. ledge trapping. Quick that was nice. Yes. Oh my oh, god. Oh, how did that miss? How did that miss? Honestly, gotta see frame by frame for that one. Mm. Dumpling King finding his way back to ledge though, but John full full sun charged up. Oh, back nice forward tilt. Yeah, the back hit of it. Back, dude. Though. Oh my god. No, Dumpling King. Air dodge, not burn. No, come he on. Jumped into that. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. We get the bracket resets. Dumpling King maybe had needs to refocus his efforts here and figure out where he wants to go. So no Town and City, no PS2. John is not taking any chances. Yeah. We're not going back to FD. We're certainly not going back to Small Battlefield. Where are we going? Mm, we are going. We didn't. You didn't see where they picked. I didn't see where they picked. I didn't see where they picked either. I'm gonna say he's not going back to Small Battlefield. Oh no, we can't. That's a counter pick. I mean, like, sure, they could gentleman. Oh, we you're so all true. No, you're so right because he got the reset. No, you're on to something. We may be going. Yep, we're going no. back to small battlefield. Let's go. I was right, even though I didn't know what I was talking about. Now, Dumpling King did consider Bowser there for a minute. We saw him hover over him. No, get but that just, out of here. Yeah, that's right. You're in grand finals. True finals now against John. Mm. You got to pull out your main. Yeah. You got to go all in. This is oh. no time to experiment. This could be it for John. He has no jump. And Beautiful. Yep. Zero to death. You're to death. Get him, Dumpling King. You're Do up a again. whole stock. Yes. Now just hang it, let Throw out these stupid options. Yes. <laughs> Something's going to work. Wizard kick him again. <laughs> Who hurt you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I like seeing the stupid options. When, yes. Down oh. air him in neutral. This is awesome. Yes, S smash. You know, if it works, it's not stupid. He's doing everything right right now. John is thrown off. No way he's going to F smash in neutral. There it is. Oh my, oh, ledge whoa. canceling the wizard kid. He's feeling himself right now. Oh my god, yeah. it clashed. Ooh. Ooh! John narrowly dodging through these up smashes, giving us so much anxiety. Oh my god, where's my heartburn medication that I need it? Yeah, for real, Dumpling King, cooking, opting to ledge up. Get that soccer ball out of here, right back in his face. I think this is probably like the best option he has a ledge tour against John, but guessing wrong at what John was gonna do. Air uh -oh. dodges in. Makes oh, John back. saved him, yes! and there yes! we go! Yes! Getting back in inside. John on his last stock. Dumpling King being like, I am all powerful. That's right, now, yes, down air to the grab. Ooh, a little bit uh, too quick on the nair. Didn't quite get the leverage needed for it, but Dumpling King doing a good job. Keep racking up this damage, misses the up smash. A little reset to neutral. Now, Dumpling King has to kind of play this like a sortie. Do the kind of the sort of mid-range pokes, like with that neutral air, maybe the jab. Because going in, it's a bit unsafe on shield. But the only thing that's going to work is that command grab. Side B, side B. Side B by oh, as well. Oh my god. I, I saw it. Yeah. John a little bit too smart for that. Probably on high alert not to get side B there. Not again. Oh my gosh, what a weird interaction. Yeah. Thanks, Winbox. Just missed. Uh, Dodging that sun there into what would have probably been a nair punish. Deep breathing forward till back hit. Gonna do it. And now we're not gonna see another Gan side for this final stock. I know, tragic. Come on, Dumpling King. Push this. Yes. Push it to the limits. Don't let him play with that soccer ball. You up smash that, get it out of here. John looking for a uh, up throw to header combo. I feel like we see him go for that all the time, but rarely hit him. I mean, against a big boy like uh, Ganondorf, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. But. 
Dublin King just getting hit by the soccer ball over and over again. One back. Oh, oh my god. Yes. There we go. Yes. And Dublin King up one game. One more game to take Zeno three. 38. 38. Yes. I can't believe that that up air hit hit in the exact location it needed to find the kill. That was no sweet spot uh, up air. That hit the sour spot and sent John all the way to the left. That was crazy. I mean, but again, you're playing a heavy, you only need one. I thought he one died to moment. the header. Honestly, I thought too, but yeah. it's okay. You know what? Ganondorf like, kind of like, you know, shifted his momentum or shifted his hitbox where the header actually went over him. Yeah. Yeah, that was some crazy stuff. And Dumpling King, one more. One more game. One more sick combo. We're and going back to small battlefields. We're not going anywhere else. And we chose... This music is like what you would hear at the end of the universe. Yes, I was. this feels like Dumpling King winning music. This feels like, like oh, he won Zeno, you know, for the first time. End of the world type vibes. This is uh, true finals against John Numbers game two for the winning for the winning game. Look, if Dumping King wins Xeno though, and that graphic comes out with Ganon on top, we're gonna hear about the NYC cooked allegations. <laughs> you know, it's untrue. Okay, man, listen, listen. Ganon taking number one on the graphic, go Dumpling King. I'm gonna get dumplings if Dumpling King wins, all right? I gotta <laughs> celebrate. And yes, yes, in, in memoriam. <laughs> in memoriam? <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh, John failing the deep breathing. But finds the berry with his jab. Dumpling King deep off stage. John was looking for a down air, opted to just trying to reset there. All right, oh. both trying to find any sort of hit. Gets the neutral air off stage. Neutral air just to see if John is going to recover a little bit higher than normal. Yeah, doing a great job of keeping these soccer balls out with his tilts. But that soccer ball, he can't tilt that off stage. So Dumpling King losing the stock, but falling off the ledge up air. Killing John again. It's such a good option, especially since John just likes to camp that ledge so hard. And Dumpling King's starting to recognize that and being like, once you're at certain percent, that's like, yes. oh, oh my god. The wizard kick's coming out, but yeah, when you're a character who has such slow options, you know, you have one fast one and it's that, so I might as well use it. Oh no, that was bad. Dumpling King probably gonna look for a side B. John missing the down air, a little reset to neutral going on here. Do you really want a side B when Dumpling King it's when it's even stocks? Finds a flame choke into the dash attack. John in disadvantage. Wow, gets the forward air. Oh, oh that's big. That's don't. big. Yes. Finds his way back to stage, but John following up with a dash attack. Oh my Ooh. gosh. That soccer ball flying everywhere. John doing such a great job of controlling the stage with these soccer balls, keeping all the momentum to himself. Dumpling King, I think, is just rolling out of panic, being like, okay, like the worst that can happen is John is going to grab me. Max but Rage you know back air kills John at like 70. This is the final stock that Dumpling King needs. Are we going to see again inside to win it all? Dumpling King wants it. We all want it. That, no, we're getting that. an untackable. You can't take it's that. fine. It's okay. Dumpling King was at 178. Here we go. Even game. If Dumpling King wins, then he wins Zeno. If he loses, well, at least you get a game three. I mean, listen, John is the king of these comebacks, so you never want to give him an opportunity uh -oh. to take it to game three. Dumpling King, good job of keeping his jump, but just can't make his way back to stage. Some elite level ledge, ledge trapping from John. Leaves the soccer ball out for Dumpling King to take advantage of, but with deep breathing up, Dumpling King just trying not to engage with John. Oh my gosh, and there to back her almost takes it. Burns the jump into the sun. We're going to game three of true finals. You know what would be dastardly? If John purposely jumped into the command grab off stage. That would be filthy. That would be hilarious, though. That <laughs> next level game knowledge. Oh, go ahead. You pick this song. Yeah. Says John Everything you pick is just your Death March music. Yes. This is your moment, Dumpling King. You pick the music. Very nice. Very nice of John. Could go. it be anything yeah. but Garuda Valley? No, it couldn't. It couldn't. This Look, is why he didn't win last one. Stop Come on. We fit trainer. This is it. The last game. All right. Here we go. Game three of true finals. Oh, he failed. What a start. Flame, flame Joker again. Do it again. No. Oh, that's all right. Two out of three. Not bad. Not bad. What yeah. a statement. Still an easy 30%. And John obviously rattled, not finding the deep breathing to start the game. He does have the sun, though. This is big. Yes. And here we go. John finally starting these low percentage the combos. Dumpling King, good job avoiding the sun with these short hops. 
Nice. Nares the soccer ball out. Finds the jab, but rolling away is not it against John Numbers. Finds the F tilt to the dash attack. Oh, my God. Yes! Ooh, what yes! a read! Coming up with Flame Choke and then catching that down smash. Dumpling King only at 50% on his first stock. John down to two. Uh, Gannon inside inbound. Not quite. No, maybe not. Ooh, Instead, big... we get a forward smash from John. Yeah, big F smash. Every time Dumpling King gets back on stage, he's probably going to take about 10%, but it's okay. Accumulating rage. Yeah, absolutely. And John opting to charge Sun and just throw it out instead of charge it fully. Catches Dumpling King off guard, who's now at 136. It's a nice little neutral check to be like, okay, I'm just, you know, it's going to stop your momentum. Going to keep you from doing crazy stuff. Not going to kill just yet. Oh my god, what an air dodge to ledge. Yeah, good read from John too, opting to charge deep breathing Ooh. instead of follow up. Oh Absolutely. my god. Oh. Jab trades, looks for the flame choke, doesn't find it. Instead, maybe if, okay. Oh my gosh. All oh, right. Here we go. Oh. Not again. Ghost. Trying to get that pivot grab. Yep. This is so scary. Oh, the sun. Okay, all right. Just enough to take in. We're looking at a pretty even game again. It feels like any time Dumpling King gets some semblance of a lead, John just gets it right back. Then it comes down to last stock, last hit scenario. John taking him across. He just added up 100 damage in like 10 seconds and finds the down air. The nerves must be getting to Dumpling King. This man, second at an Arcadian during the fall, is so close. Just two stocks away from winning Xeno 338, one of the hardest locals in all of Tri-States. In the world, really. And John, or and now Dumpling King looking for more committal options. Oh no, that's the, oh no. Uh-oh, John numbers combo coming out. Dumpling King at 84, has to burn the air dodge. He lives, but will he make it back? No, no that's it's... it. Dumpling King just realized, no matter how hard I want it, I can't get back there. <laughs> Dumpling King is like, is that it? I thought it was the best three out of five. No, John Numbers is your Xeno 338 champion. Yeah, it just wasn't in the cards for Dumpling King, man. What a crazy set that true finals was, though. Talk about back and forth, but my goodness, John just capitalizing on his advantage every single time he found himself there. That advantage state from Dumpling King was no joke as well, though, because whenever he started getting that momentum, John was caught off guard. Like, that first kill... With the world, with the warlock grab into like here we go, that yeah. down smash, beautiful stuff. Yeah. John should have rolled away towards center stage, but Dumpling King was like, you know, it's not often he does that. <laughs> he likes ledge too much. Yeah, I know what this man wants. This was brutal. Like that was in like ten seconds. Dumpling King was at like one fourteen, and then you get frame trapped, cooked. Yeah, uh -huh. but we're starting to see what you're thinking with the. Uh, Command grab off stage to maybe just try and even up that score. Yeah. Because, you know, better chances than having John up one whole stock. And it's just heartbreaking to watch the ledge just so far. I mean, but what a set. What a set. Dumpling King, the Cinderella story stopped here. But you know what? He did it once, he can do it again. And I cannot wait to see him come back even stronger than ever and probably take Xeno with a full, you know, maybe I'd say a full 50 people. Yeah. Today, we had like 30 something today, but. With flash flood warning. You know? Flash flood warning. It's not a Xeno without a flood warning these days. You know? I mean, only during the spring and like the winter. Yeah. It's fine. People yeah. can swim. You know, like the last storm we had, people were kayaking away. Yeah. Yeah. Is that I, a thing that happened? Yeah, people were kayaking to work. You know, if you live on Roosevelt Island, you kind of <laughs> have to kayak to the city. Uh, I guess that's pretty hype, honestly. I mean, I think so. But if you want to kayak your way over to Xeno Weeklies every single Wednesday, you know, flash warning or not, we're not going to stop you here. It's only $15 to enter, run by the wonderful House of 3000. You are watching right now on Twitch, House of 3000. And you can also uh, follow Devin over on Twitter for all those updates. Hashtag free House of 3000. You can find us here at 21 Ludlow Street in beautiful Chinatown. And if you want some more practice, you got to come to Bombs. When was the last time you were at Bombs? That's a good question. Shame Swiss. on you. No, you should go no, every Monday. No. Hey, it's okay. No shame. I didn't come to Bombs oh either. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's all right. You got to be able to uh, grind out your sessions every single Monday, 7 o'clock, a much smaller bracket, only $10, and every single game is recorded so you can have your homework for the week to review your VODs. Yeah. If Swiss and I were going to Bombs, then there would be no one on comms. No one on comms. Because <laughs> we'd get too good. I know. It, we, uh, Devin would be like, guys, come on. You've won six games in a row. Yeah. You, you need a cast. I was like, I'm sorry. We're in grams. Yeah, Sonic Can't being all you. alone. All oh, alone up no. here. Hours. 
But hey, if you want the kind of production you just saw here today, you gotta hire us. House of 3000, Devin holding it down behind the scenes. This man is a wizard with everything production related. And if you are looking for maybe a smaller tournament on Thursdays, be sure to go to Dave & Buster's in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. You know, very chill vibe. You it's at Dave & Buster's. Dave & Buster's. By the Barclays Center. Oh, by the Barclays yes. Center. I, that's right, that's right. It's not in the Barclays Center. I've been to this tournament. Dave & Buster's sounds like a little bit of a weird venue for mm -hmm. a Smash tournament, but it's well run. It's a very nice tournament to go to. You know, the setups are there. The friendlies are there. There are some great players going there as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I think Kevin might have won the last one. So oh, shout no outs way. to him. All yeah, right. So, yeah. It's becoming harder and harder brackets. Yeah. I mean, between bombs, our weekly, you know, Waypoint Warriors. Oh. There's, there's no reason you shouldn't be coming here and top eighting with all the experience you can get in New York. You know, I'm very happy that we're not capping every single Tuesday at 48 players. It gives me a chance to enter and, uh, you know, fill the pot a little bit. It's only $12 every single Tuesday just up the street from here at Zeno. You can always catch them every Tuesday at twitch.tv slash waypointcafeNYC, which is the name of the venue. So, if you think you're a warrior, come and prove it. But, I have a question for you. Yeah. Did you ever want a tattoo? Do you ever want to win a tattoo? I think if I won a tattoo, I'd have to get it. Like, I'd of have course. to get it. It's your chance at Lock Inc. Yeah, and they're they're advertising way far in advance. This tournament is on May 3rd. I've already been seeing some great players sign up. I'm pretty sure Nightwing, who top six today, I think, is going to yeah, be out there. He will be there. So that's pretty epic. You know, they're doing a good job. The top three people in the tournament win a free tattoo for themselves or a friend if you don't want one. But hey, if you win, you get that tattoo. You get the smash ball right there on your shoulder. I will warn you, though, because I entered, mm. and all the O2ers have to do karaoke oh that's fine with me yeah that's fine what's your go-to karaoke song uh slow dancing in the dark slow dancing in the dark that's a nice one yeah yeah i really belt my heart out Aww. i've never known a caster who wouldn't want to do karaoke though you know i know i it's know we like floor. hearing the sound of our own yeah voice, for though. real yeah a little center of attention sound of our own <laughs> voice you know how it is yeah we like to be the host of fun things yeah exactly and speaking of fun things all fun things unfortunately come to an end that's going to be it for us here at Xeno338. I'm Swiss Rider. You can find me on Twitter at Arnie Hermes. And where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at Big Easy, four underscores at the end. Don't forget it. All right. That's going to be it from us. Have a wonderful night, everybody. I will see you next week. Adios.